In a shock move, China unexpectedly allowed its currency, the renminbi, to fall Tuesday by nearly 2%. It followed up that move with another leg down Wednesday, sending the tightly controlled currency lower by more than 3% on the week. China also signaled a change in its approach to managing its currency, which has risen sharply in recent years. China's central bank said it would now allow the renminbi's daily intraday moves to play a bigger role in how it sets the new rate for the currency the next morning. Let's take a look at the winners and losers in the shakeout from China's decision to allow its currency to fall. The biggest winner, Chinese exporters. China's exporters like supply chain middleman Lian Feng or iPhone assembler Foxconn will be the biggest beneficiaries. Rising wages in southern China have hurt factories there and caused many to move low-end production to countries in Southeast Asia like Vietnam. A cheaper currency could rev up those factories operating below peak production. Global consumers are also winners. Shoppers in the U.S. and elsewhere will be able to purchase Chinese goods cheaper. One big loser, Chinese airlines. Chinese airlines like Air China will suffer as a cheaper renminbi makes it more expensive for Chinese to travel abroad. Fuel costs are a major expense for airlines, and with oil denominated in U.S. dollars, they will have to pay more. U.S. multinationals will also feel pain. U.S. companies like Apple, Yum Brands, and Johnson & Johnson see Chinese consumers as a major source of demand for their products. A weaker renminbi will hurt their sales when translated into U.S. dollars. The renminbi and its effects on U.S. business will be a key topic of discussion when President Xi Jinping visits the U.S. in September.